Eyes wide shut thing. You gonna get up to some of that nonsense? That hanky panky? Yeah. Um, no, this is uh, my parents a few weeks ago were in Italy, and apparently Venice is like the city of, of creepy masks. masks. Yeah. And uh, it's got a little sign on it that says, uh, handcrafted, a handicraft, made and decorated rigorously by hand. Uh, don't give it to children under six years old. It's not a toy. It's a mask. I'm going to find uh, some... Uh... You know what? <laughs> it's the creepy... It's so creepy. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it. And that's kind of why it's hidden in this room. Yeah, but I saw it. You and, did see uh... it. Saw the little jingle jangles all over it, and I had to talk about it because really, I, I I imagine now that your parents went to some sort of eyes wide shut shenanigan places <laughs> while they were there. I, I visited their place uh, just this past weekend for Thanksgiving. Yeah, and uh, they had a lot of these masks. Well, several of these masks, <laughs> but they were tinier. Okay, like like it would be put on a doll or a little dog. Mm, perhaps, but probably not. Babies. Probably a doll. Um, and even those little ones were creepy. They looked the same. They were just littler. Yeah. They used to be full size. <laughs> <laughs> just shrunken faces, shrunken souls. Um, uh, what were you doing at your parents? It was it was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes. Um, and uh, also my younger brother's 25th birthday. Oh. And my father's 60th birthday. Oh. Big six L. I'll tell you what, uh, those two birthday cakes sitting side by each other, with <laughs> with sixty one candles on one, yeah. one for good luck, and twenty six candles on the other, one for good luck. Not to mention the two numerically shaped sparklers on each one. Oh, oh. once we lit that sucker up and it got blown out, it was a smoke show in there. It was, it was, people were choking. You can't blow up that many candles in one go and not expect a ton of smoke. 61 actual candles? You didn't 60. just put oh, a no. six and a one? No, no. My sister had a fistful of candles and we we're just lighting them and sticking them in the cake. And then another fistful was presented to her. And she was running, she had no space left on the cake. She was jamming them in the side. It was just, it was a lot of candles. It's too many candles. That's why they sell numerical uh, candles. Well, we, we doubled down on that one. Oh, man. Interestingly enough, when my dad blew out the 60 candles, he took one big breath in, blew them all out, but one lit back up. I'm saying that was the lucky candle. <laughs> Is it lucky if you don't get to blow it out? Well, I don't know. I mean, what's for, the point for of a some lucky reason, candle? there's always the one for good luck in my family. Yeah, what just, is whatever yeah. number of candles plus one for good luck. Yeah, that's just that's that's only rich families. <laughs> like People who can afford another candle. Exactly. <laughs> you know, families like when I grew up, if you were ten, you got ten candles, and that's if you were lucky. See, but those candles are reusable. You get a big ten candle, unless someone's turning one years old. You can't reuse that unless someone else is turning ten, or someone makes it to a hundred. Man, get another you zero. You have a point there, but but you're using 61 candles. You well, no, there were two that. cakes. We used uh, 87 <laughs> uh, candles and four sparklers. Ah, that, 87 candles. That classic kids your wealth. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, all those wax bucks, <laughs> all those bucks to be spending on wax. Oh. Uh, so yeah, it was uh, it was sort of a, a combo. Um, gathering yeah. uh, of the extended family a little bit because it was two birthdays and Thanksgiving uh, in consecutive three consecutive days. So he just jammed it all together on Thanksgiving. Uh, my dad said he didn't want to have turkey, and uh, it's he's turning 60. It's his right to say, no, no turkey. It's going to make me sleepy. I don't want to fall asleep on my birthday. <laughs> so well, what was his alternative to, to rejuvenate him, to wake him up? Um, a lot of things. There was some rice. There was some vegetables. There were uh, cannoli, uh, cannolis, both cheese and meat filled. Lamb, okay. chicken, just a whole bunch of food. Just everything but turkey. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Huh. He doesn't especially like turkey. It's his birthday. We'll eat whatever he wants to eat. Yeah, I guess so. But it's Thanksgiving too. Yeah. One of them's got to trump the other. I guess. I, I think guess your dad so. won I mean, Thanksgiving. Uh, it's no great loss that we didn't eat turkey for me. Okay. 
What what did what did you have? What did you do for Thanksgiving? Oh, I had uh, I had I had the works, Sebastian. What's it? Turkey. I had sweet potatoes. Uh, well, I say the works. I don't include sweet potatoes. I don't like them. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. You can mash uh, some sweet potatoes. You could, but I had turnip, and that's already an orange oh, thing. Oh yeah, okay. So uh, turnip. I had peas, corn, carrots with a little bit of honey. A uh, nice little, little bit of ham. Did you say carrots? Yeah, carrots. Like you baby turnips, carrots. You got carrots, you got two oranges. Yeah, but I put them on different sides of the plate, so it, it complements each okay, other. Okay, okay. Uh, and then the my broccoli cheese. Mm. Uh, Cheese-covered broccoli. Yeah, yeah. I call it curry broccoli because there's a tiny little bit of curry in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> and not enough to make it too... Uh, like, a, like a pinch of curry powder? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But when you call it something like that, you're thinking, that's like, like an Indian dish. And yeah, it's like, no, no, no. Far from it. Yeah, it's a bunch of broccoli that Matthew covered in cheese and stuck in the oven. There's other stuff to it, but I'm not yeah, giving away. It's pretty good. It's pretty I'm good. I'm not giving I don't away want to the ingredients. It too much. Yeah, yeah. It's Matthew's Here, secret broccoli recipe. Secret recipe. If you want it, um, well, maybe we'll make a contest one day where you have to go through all of the episodes. And I don't know what we'll do yet. If you make us a clip show, Matthew will tell you how to make some broccoli. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, and a, and a turkey. I you know, spent a couple of. Good How big afternoon. was that turkey? I know last year you got like the biggest turkey we could find. Yeah, I was a little embarrassed this year going and buying probably the smallest turkey I could oh, find. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a little baby turkey? Just a little guy. A little, what do they call baby turkeys? Turklet. Turklets. Just a little turklet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was nothing grand, but uh, still a still a whole whole bunch of food. So so you had like a bunch of people over for, for Thanksgiving dinner and you just oh, cut no. up that little turkey for like, what, four or six people? No, no, no. It was just me. Oh, Matthew. I had to, I had to, I had to keep the holiday alive. So you, just you and your girlfriend? No, she was working. Oh, Matthew. Wait, so like you just sat there with like with a candle? I did dinner? have a candle. It was a pumpkin spice candle. Oh, wow. I had the Charlie Brown uh, Thanksgiving special on. Okay. Very depressing. Yeah, it is, but at least it's keeping you company. You're not just like staring at the candle. Yeah, yeah. Um, like another dinner for one. <laughs> I mean, I I had another plate set. That just why? Well, for later, I was going to give Mallory some some leftovers later on. Oh, did you put it out? Yeah, because she's going to eat there later. So I guess if anyone's watching me through the windows, it looks terrifying. It looks very creepy. It looks it sad. looks it looks like your girlfriend's probably dead. <laughs> And you're just going through the ritual for like some sort of some sort of continuity in your life. <laughs> well, I didn't put any food on the plate. Oh, you made it sound like you just like you filled two plates and you sat down with one <laughs> and lit a candle and oh. emptied one plate and no. then like emptied the other into the trash with your tears. <laughs> <laughs> no, I put the plate was just sitting there as a placeholder. Okay, I did fill it later. I also had a little. <laughs> Well, I filled it later. Oh, okay, with the leftovers. Yeah, yeah. Got leftovers, it. put it in the microwave. Well, saran wrap. I... You put it in the microwave, not the fridge? Well, I put it in the microwave to warm it up later. I'm, I'm jumping all over the map. Here. Okay. And I had a little uh, Thanksgiving dish for my cat. Oh. What was in the Thanksgiving dish for the cat? I don't know. Just a lot of animal insides, I guess. It oh. Was, it's a can, but it says Thanksgiving meal. Oh, okay. It was like, oh, did you just give your cat some turkey guts? No. Turkey. But turkey. maybe. No, probably. It's the worst stuff, but they put it in a nice little package. Okay. Turkey's gross, though. I don't know how. I'm still not used to it. Still not used to reaching into the turkey's anus and pulling mm-hmm. out its neck and heart. And it drips. It's so leaky. Well, what if you get a butterball? Aren't those already, like, pre-done? No. Hmm. No. I mean, some of them are stuffed. Some of them come pre-stuffed. Yeah. Uh, if you get a pre-stuffed one. But they still have, like, a fold of neck around yeah, it. That's they right. cut this weird... Uh, area around the the base of the legs where it can you can tie the legs together That's using right. its own flesh. Yeah, it's a whole mess <laughs> and real drippy. When I bought that big turkey and I picked it up, I think I, I didn't say this on, this on the podcast, on the podcast but it was yeah. like uh, I don't forget the analogy I used, but it was it was, it was like, gross and you made the sound and I don't yeah. need you to recreate it because I. <laughs> Like I feel like I was there. It was like the turkey's water broke. Yeah, I think that's the analogy you used last year. Only it was bloodier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matthew. Yeah. So how how was how was it? It was good. Yeah. 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 It was, it was very peaceful. I mean, yeah, I would imagine. You can eat as much as you want. No one's How much did you eat? Too much. Did you eat enough to like lie on the couch going, oh Yeah. Yeah, that's how you know you did a good job. Yeah, that's basically what you're supposed to do on Thanksgiving. Yeah, and then you get tuckered out and fall asleep. Did the turkey make you tired? 
Everything made me tired. <laughs> Preparing the turkey, yeah. eating the turkey, the turkey. The humidity of all the pots boiling. The, it's, <laughs> you just <laughs> left everything boiling. You're just <laughs> lying there and like like a like a like a Swedish bathhouse. No, what would it <laughs> not Turkish bathhouse, of Turkish course. Turkish bathhouse. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's and your uh, well, your Thanksgiving is very different. It's much more of a father, uh, father, brother, birthday bonanza. Yeah, I mean, uh, my my dad uh, was opening a bunch of birthday gifts, 60th yeah. birthday. It was honestly, it was uh, uh, my sister was pointing out was it was more like a twenty something year old's birthday because my dad got a bottle of scotch and a whole bunch of bottles of wine. Basically, all of his gifts were alcohol related. Um, <laughs> a bunch of glasses broke, but that was really just to. Uh, general clumsiness um birthday glasses or old glasses uh like wine glasses and stuff that like you know my mom was drying some dishes and putting them away and accidentally knocked one down and that caused a domino effect knock breaking more glasses oh, yeah uh, uh, uh there was there was a bottle of champagne that my sister-in-law was insisting that she could saber open you know What's you know that? if you've ever seen on tv a bottle of, and they use a big sword and <laughs> knock the top off you've got a big sword there's no sword, though. You're supposed to use a saber. And I was like, you need some ornate saber. She's like, I could do it with a butter knife. Ooh. And so she tried that for a while. And then it turned into one of those situations where, okay, so she's quitting that because she tried three times and it's just going to go badly. So let's just try and pull the cork off normal style. And she couldn't do it. And then it turned into like a every man in the place going like, oh, let me give it a shot. <laughs> and everyone's like yanking at it and People are grabbing it from each other and going, let me have a try at it. And like, you know, a million experts that none of them can do it. Yeah. Um, eventually, my dad's like, that's it. I'm going to take it inside and just go try using a corkscrew. And uh, then in using the corkscrew, the, the bottle just exploded. Uh, I assume because so many people yanked out of each other's hands, shaking it up. Yeah. Building the pressure into uh, of it. That as soon as like a little pressure was applied to the glass... By using the corkscrew to pull out the cork, that the yeah. whole thing just exploded. So the glass broke. Yeah, like oh, the man. champagne bottle exploded. Oh, um, like in two, and we lost almost all the champagne. <laughs> you uh, still drank it after? There's I don't probably think. Little I don't. Th- glass I feel. It. I feel like we were seriously considering it. It's like, well, yeah. pour it in glass, and if you see bits of glass in it that are green from the bottle, uh, just don't drink that. And my grandfather was just looking at it and shaking his finger. No, 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 don't, don't touch this. This is garbage now. <laughs> And we're like, well, um, and we also had another bottle left to spare. So yeah. I think we just moved on to that next one. Okay. Um, and another glass broke later. There was a lot of broken glass. Yeah. Uh, so my, my dad was, you know, uh, getting a lot of bottles of wine and he, a lot of nice, nicely written cards. There was, there was one from, uh, I think my aunt, uncle and cousins where he opened it up. It was a bunch of old photos from different family events over the past so many years Young photos of him with uh, us as babies and stuff. Uh, him with a mustache when he was younger. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, he, he teared up about it. He was, you know, he got a little red in the face and started crying. And Big uh, Papa Kedzir? Big Papa Kedzir was, was crying a bit about it. He was over overwhelmed with emotion. Um, got all, got all swollen? He was Swell, he, swelled up with tears? Swelled up. He wasn't, like, <laughs> sobbing. He was just, like, he was reading and kind of squinting and, like, tearing up a bit. And, you know, one of my aunts is like, oh, Rob, are you okay? And he just kind of gave a teary thumbs up, like, it's okay, I'm good. And oh. meanwhile, my brother's filming it on an iPad, and he's crying and stuff. <laughs> and uh, and my, my sister-in-law turns to me, and is like, oh, here go all the kids yours. And I realize, Am I, is that just me? Am I just an emotionless man that I do not cry for these things? I, you were the only kids you're not crying? No, I wasn't, but I feel I, I've been told uh, by several people lately that I'm hard to read, emotionless, <laughs> maybe a stone faced, things like this. Hard to read and emotionless. <laughs> Who told you you were emotionless? I mean, okay, maybe not emotionless, but like uh, uh, sometimes I feel like I, do, I don't react to things that other people feel. Like maybe, maybe. <laughs> a robot you're just you know i don't know if i'm a robot maybe i just like sympathy oh okay so so you have emotions but you just just nothing very selfish emotions okay is what it is yes oh you broke your foot that sucks (laughs) you didn't even have to do the little 
at the end. That's what made it insincere. <laughs> I kind of rolled my eyes.